Well, I think, we, well, I know we've always felt very close to Dad, and I think for him, the family has always come before politics. Um, I know before he decided to run for the presidency, he talked all about it with us. He uh, wanted to be sure that we uh, didn't think it would uh, hurt our, our lives. And I don't think it was until he was pretty confident that it wasn't going to damage our lives that he decided to run for the presidency, don't you think? I agree with you, Adelaide. One thing that never fails to amaze me is Dad's incredible energy. He simply never tires out. I've just completed two years in the Army, but traveling with Dad still wears me out. On one matter, though, I think I can speak for each member of the family, and that is that if Dad makes half as good a president as he does a father, he'll be the best president this country has ever had. When Dad does become president, I think he'll probably be one of the most athletic presidents we've ever had. He loves to play tennis and plays a very good game. As a matter of fact, none of us have ever beaten him. He also loves other sports, like, like hunting and fishing and trap shooting. And, and he's a very good shot. I say, trust the people. Trust their good sense, their decency, their fortitude, their faith. Trust them with the great decisions. I say it is time to take this government away from men who only know how to count and to turn it back to men and women who care. <laughs>